What's up you guys, the Torres for Techies here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a very professional form on Dreamweaver CS5. Alright, so this is what the form will look like once we finish. It'll show the first name and a place to type. And if you want to just see that it's really true, that you're able to do this in Dreamweaver, you just click Live View, and then you can see that you're able to type. Alright, so... And when you're in Dreamweaver, just go to File, New. And then just click Blank Page and Create. And once you get here, you can see that it's just a very basic page. Nothing is on it. And so now what I want you to do is go to this Insert Panel right here. And once you're here, um, click this drop-down menu and click Forms. And now let's do a text field. And the ID is going to be name, and the label is going to be first name. No label tag, okay? And so now you can see it's just like that. And what if you guys want to, you you can also um create a um, a graph if you want. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to do it like this. It's very it's easier. And so now after you do your first name, press enter, then you click text field again, and this one is going to be called name again for the ID, and the label is going to be last name, and then no label tag, and before item, okay? And there you go, you can see it's very simple, and so now with the next one, as you can see, we're just the ID is going to be phone, uh, I don't know, let's just do phone instead of telephone. Sounds very old. And now we're going to do email address. So ID is going to be email. Label is going to be email address. Oops. I can't spell today, sorry. That's probably spelled wrong. Okay, so now just press enter. And now what we're going to do is um, a comment. Say you want them to leave a comment on your site. Then the ID is going to be comment. Label is going to be comment here. And then you want to put a colon. Press OK. With the comment, it's going to be a little different. So once you click this, the text area, what I want you to do is... Um, Make sure that the link is not checked off. There's nothing in it, and make sure that the class is none. And you want to and you want to format format it as paragraph paragraph. And you, let's say you want the ch let's make the chart width be um fifty, and let's make it a multi line since it's going to be comment. So you're, you're just thinking that it's going to be a long comment, hopefully. And we're, gonna, and we're not going to make it disabled to read only because you want them to be able to type in it. And we're not going to have a password. If you want a password, if you have like a private site, then you could do a password if you want. And the class is none. And so just like that. And now you can do um, how many lines you want. So let's just do seven lines. And there you go. It's as simple as that, you guys. Oops. And now, if you go to Live View, then you can see that you're able to type in these in these uh, fields. So now, let's say after you do this form, of course you want a submit button. So go to comment here, press Enter. Now you want to go down when you go to forms. You want to go down to um, button. And the ID is going to be submit, and the label is going to be submit. Um, no label tag. Um, press OK. And what we're going to have this do is um, we're going to have it and make sure to click off the radio button, submit form. Now, if you want. You can just leave the submit button like it is, 
or if you want it to go to your email address this is very cool that they included um, just click on the insert tab then you want to go down to um, email link and the text is, is going to be submit it depends on what you want it to be mine is going to be submit then just click OK and there you go so after they type all of this out if they type their first name um, type your last name, type your phone number email address and you want to enter your comment and then you, you after you can just click submit so then it would be forwarded to your email address as simple as that alright you want a table all you do is go to insert then table and now you want to do rows um, we have one two three four five uh, we have about six rows and for a column um, we're gonna do two columns border thickness um, let's do um, five and there you go easy okay and now <clears throat> Since I didn't start off with the table at first, I have to transfer all the stuff. And so, after I transfer the stuff, I'll be right, right back with you. Alright, as you can see, I transferred all the stuff, and it was fairly easy. You just drag and drop. And now you can see that it's very nice and neat. First to comment is just all in one row, I mean in one column, and all the text fields and the submit button is in the next um, column. And so now, if you want to check it out, just go to Live View. And there you go. You just made a sub you just made a form. If you want to make any other forms and you have any questions, just leave a comment and remember to subscribe. And one more thing, um now you can see the code if you click um this right here. And you can also click split so you can see both the design and the code. So let's say um I if you know iWeb, then you're very familiar with this. <clears throat> let's say you bought a trial of Adobe and um you want that form to be there just click add page blank um <clears throat> blank page then you'll go back to dreamweaver command a um copy then you'll go back to um iweb i mean then you would do the html snippet go here paste and then just click apply and bam your table's right there Alright, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and rate. And remember to comment so that I know what I need to fix in my videos, if I need to fix anything. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.